Hey guys, welcome back. Christmas is just around the corner and it's a little too early to turn myself into Santa Claus or into a reindeer. But it's never too early to turn myself into the, 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 the Grinch. <clears throat> Let's get started. <laughs> As some of you may know, Illumination and Universal Studios are releasing a new Grinch movie and tonight is the premiere showing. So what I'm not gonna do is just show up in a green shirt and call it a day. No, 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 no. You've got the wrong channel, sweetie. I'm going all in or I'm not going at all. Oh. Ah. Mmm. That shit, I'm not going. I bought a Grinch bodysuit, which you'll see me try on in a moment, and it did come with a mask, but I thought that was too easy. This just ain't it, Chief. This right here, this ain't it. So I'm gonna start off by painting my entire face green using this professional face and body paint. Then later on, I'm gonna go in and add some details. That's probably going to be an issue later. Pretty good right I think I got a pretty good face going here I'm gonna go ahead and take a q-tip and remove anything that's on my bottom lip because his bottom lip isn't green for the brows I want to go for the look that the new Grinch has he has normally placed brows they're just very dark green and extremely hairy so taking the dark green eyeshadow I'm just gonna try to mimic that So because the Grinch's eyebrows are so bushy, I wanted to add some fabric to the tops of my brows to kind of extend them and make them look a little bit more visibly hairier. So I'm going to take some liquid latex and place that above my brow to act as the glue for the green fabric. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about the brows just yet. They kind of look good, but I think they'll look even better once the whole look is complete. So now I'm gonna take that same green shadow that I used for my brows to kind of contour my face. Who's that? <laughs> I took that same green shadow and put it in the inner corners of my eyes, on my lids, and on the outer crease of my eyes. I also put it in between my brows to create a nice shadow for the wrinkles that are going to go there. Then taking some of the green and yellow paint, I used that to kind of carve out the contour to make it look a little bit better because it was really messy. And then I started on my wrinkles. Now this was probably the hardest part for me. I really struggled trying to get the wrinkles the right size, the right length, the right look, and it just was very hard for me. So I put wrinkles in between my brows, on my forehead, and on the outer edge of where my smile line is. And I put three of those there. So here I'm just kind of outlining where I want the wrinkles to go. And then later on, I'm going to go in and detail them with a darker shadow. Not going to lie, I'm really struggling. So, just thought you should know. 
For the nose, I kind of just drew a circle on the tip of my nose and then I shaded it in with that same dark green shadow and added a little white highlight at the top to add some dimension. After that, I connected the nose down to the bottom of my lip and then I added some of the whisker holes that he has. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. I like it. I like it a lot. Fuck, that took so long. <laughs> I felt like I needed to be a little bit more hairier, so I took some liquid latex and outlined the outer edge of my face. And then I took that same green fabric that I used on my eyebrows to outline my face. Now. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just gonna quickly paint my neck. Only like this part of my neck shows in the costume. Okay, so this next part probably has to be one of my favorite parts about this. So if you look closely at the Grinch's eyes, he has these really long, beautiful eyelashes. So I'm going to be putting on some eyeliner next just to kind of like tight line the eyes and make sure that the lashes blend together nicely. Look at how pretty and long. I can't wait to live this fantasy. Cindy Lou has left the group chat. Oh my God, look at these lashes. Okay, so now I think it's time that we do something about this hair because it's just not cutting it for me. Most of the Grinch recreations I saw online were wearing the Santa suit that he wears like towards the end of the movie. They didn't really have to worry about the head portion because they were wearing a Santa hat that covered it. But I'm not wearing the Santa suit. I'm just wearing the Grinch bodysuit. So last night I took a wig cap and I painted it green using paint, eyeshadow, and some markers, some green markers. I hot glued some of this fabric onto to that wig cap and Miss Thotiana here is modeling that for me and I'm a little bit scared that it might not work it might not hold together once it comes off or and it comes on my head I'm terrified but there's only one way to find out so let's try it on just take it off with both hands and then I'm gonna have to hold my hair like this and then you're just gonna have to like stick my hair in there It lost its like stretchability. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point. I'm improvising here. I don't know what's gonna work. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> at this point, I have two options. I could either wear this beanie and look like this, <laughs> or I could just let my hair down and be like a sassy Grinch. no idea what I'm gonna do. That definitely did not turn out the way I expected it to. But you know what? We're gonna roll with the punches, okay? I am no longer the Grinch. I'm the Grinch's daughter. Conspiracy theory. You know how at the end of the Grinch movie, the original, spoiler alert, he ends up with Martha May Huvier or whatever, that lady he had a crush on when he was a little boy. They got together, they got married, they had a baby, bam. The Grinch's daughter is born. She's here ready to slay with the nice cute brows. She takes on his appearance. Um, but she has more of like a human form, like her mother. We're rolling with that, that's her story. Good, you got it, let's go. Now it's time for the costume. The Grinch's daughter reporting for duty. Now that I'm in full character, this can go. 
And so can we to the movies. Let's go now. You're a mean one. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel. Mr. Grinch. I'm back from the movie. I'm back from experiencing all of that craziness. My teeth look really white. I'm really happy. I've been doing like this whitening strip process for like a couple days now and they already look great. Look at that. Anyway, that had nothing to do with that. Really quickly before I forget to do an outro, I just wanted to come on here and give you my thoughts about the movie if you care. I gave it like a 7.5, like a solid 7.5. I don't know, I guess it just didn't really, it just didn't really do it for me. Like it was cute, the music was good, the characters were cute. I didn't really like Cindy Lou though. I don't know why I couldn't, I just, I couldn't get attached to the kids. My favorite character was Max, like, come on. The Grinch was cool, but he wasn't Jim Carrey, you know, that was my problem. He wasn't as like sassy or as mean or as rude as Jim Carrey. That's what I needed. He wasn't giving me what I wanted, which is fine because the movie is intended for a children's audience. So I'm sure that the kids will like it. I know that my nieces and nephew liked it. It was a good movie. And now I cannot wait to go home and take this off. This makeup honestly turned out really freaking good. I really hope you like this video. It took so much time and effort, so if you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Also make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You